I've always loved television, even as a small child, and I incorporate it into every play that I write. I was born and raised in this town, and being surrounded by the beauty of the Victorian homes and, and the charm of them, it really contributed to my femininity, not in an uh, obnoxious way, but really gave me a sense of who I am as a lesbian. I care very much for the theater, and for Bunny, I think she's a fantastic director, but I don't quite understand her position in the anti-loft coalition. My sister lives in a loft. My play is, is from that fantastic television show, Land of the Lost, which I'm sure many of you are very familiar with. These sleestacks really represent the developers and the raping of the land. They are the embodiment of these men, these monsters that come and, excuse me, could you back off please? It's really in my space and, you know, get the phallic massive thing out. You know, I've never really produced the play before, but, uh, you know, I had some extra money in my savings and uh, a drive and determination to, you know, take the next step up. You know, I, I love theater and I, 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 and I figured, why not, you know? I mean, sure, I have to clean stuff and I, I had to, you know, give blood and other fluids. I don't know what that was all about, but, <laughs> but anyways, you know, I'm, I only had to pay, like, what, like two hundred dollars, and I heard that's pretty Jim. normal. And she she is so amazing. I'm, damn, I'm gonna ask her out. She's a lesbian. Oh, I completely get what Bonnie is doing. If if you look at the central characters of any truly great TV show, you'll see the archetypal hierarchies that arise in a society, in society in general, in the general sense. I think that Choka, that is my character, uh, I think that Choka truly embodies the essence of the people. It's somewhat obnoxious to be surrounded continually by phallicism and phallic symbols and massive erections all the time. We live with that day in and day out, in and out constantly. We are surrounded by lofts. Uh, do you know that you are living in something that is really against humanity and our Earth? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, so would you possibly be interested in signing my anti-loft coalition movement? No, no, I think. Do you know that you are you are living in a massive erect phallic symbol? Uh, <laughs> okay, whatever. But there's, there's, okay. she's so deeply involved. There's so many layers. Uh, she's so uh, into the whole anti-loft movement thing that is going on right now. Oh, no, don't be shy, darling. Come back right there. Come, no, stop dancing Friends. right there. Oh. Friends. Mm. Ah, yes. Let's do this with a little bit more feeling and really project. I'm not getting the sense that you are envisioning your heart center and really breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth, and really embracing the energy. And Sleestack, I need to get a little bit more from you. You are a Sleestack, so in your moreness, I want you to be steadfast and true. I lived in a brownstone for a while, but that was when I was in New York. I was acting with the Open Circle Theater at that time. But that was years ago when actors were still actors, and they could speak English. Sadly, our beautiful little theater is going to be demolished tomorrow. It's a tremendous loss, and my heart bleeds tremendously for my fellow thespians. <laughs> Ironically, this beautiful gem of a space will be <laughs> taken over by lofts. Excuse me. What the hell are you doing here? Honey! Take your f***ing massive erections out of here, as I said. Now, this is bunny, not bunny, a, bunny, no, bunny, I, bunny, I, listen. Somebody, I just need, I Carla, just came down here. Carla, I just came, Bunny? Carla! Bunny? I just came down here to make sure that everything was on the up and up. <laughs> now, now, you do know that you have to be out of here by midnight, correct? I'm keenly aware of the situation, and, and look, um, 
In the interest of community, I invite you to come tonight. Um, I'm, I'm happy to leave tickets for you at Will Call, but please, please come to our show tonight, okay? Why would I want to come see this show? I'm tearing down the building. <laughs> fine. That's good. That's fine. You know what? In the spirit of goodwill and community service and all those things that no one really actually cares about, I will, um, I will come to your show. See you at eight. <laughs> Jane? <laughs> Carla? God damn it. Could somebody get me a lighter, please? The, uh, the, the depth of emotion that they brought to the table, the, and uh, quite frankly, the production quality was, was phenomenal. It moved me. It, you, know, it, you know, hang on, just one second. Excuse me, everyone, excuse me. I, I must admit, you guys, you all really changed my mind tonight about the, the value that the arts bring and, and, and the architectural integrity that we need to keep in this city. And, uh, I can't believe I'm saying this. <laughs> I've changed my mind. This theater must not be demolished. The show must go on! I don't really know what to say. I, I, I love the fact that you, um, first of all, came to our show. <laughs> but I'm at, I'm at a loss for words. Uh, you have really redeemed yourself. <laughs> And I just want to welcome you to our after party. And please, welcome. Let's give him a hand and thank him. You know, it's, it's all about the party experience, you know. I mean, I hear eventually, once you're like an intern, they eventually will make you an understudy. And, well, you know, that's pretty awesome. I mean, that's, that's what I'm shooting for. I mean, pretty soon, I'll be like up there, like, you know, like Sanchez you know, with my own makeup person. But unlike Sanchez, I won't let it affect my, my, my relationship with everyday man, with everyday person. I'll probably still, you know, collect comics. I'll probably still, uh, you know, eat my cereal out of a bowl instead of having it thrown to me by like, I don't know, like slaves or whatever Sanchez has, I don't know. But I mean, it's just, this is what I'm, this is what I'm shooting for, you know? It's, <laughs> I mean, it's all about the experience, and if I have to put a little little knuckle grease, a little you know, hard working into what I'm shooting for, then then so be it, and so be it. I got put some toilet water on my face, but hey, part of the experience. I don't mind it. Pretty soon I'll have makeup on my face, and I'll feel like a million bucks because make yourself useful. Give me this. All right, um, here, let me hold on to this for me. I don't. Uh, that's bumping into me, but anyways. I'll still be friends with the common man, like I said, and I am, well, I don't know what to, what, what to think about fame and whether or not I, I, I will like the paparazzi, you know, taking pictures of me and stuff and causing my car to run off into the ditch and, you know, trying to kill me, but hey, part of the experience, and I figure if I'm just a nice guy, they, they won't, they won't uh, do things like that to me, 